Thank you, Jonathan. Well, Port San Antonio is one of the technology hubs of the Alamo City. Over the last year plus, the port has been building a state-of-the-art facility, the Tech Port Center. It's pretty exciting. So tomorrow's the first official concert with the Smashing Pumpkins. Mm -hmm. So in anticipation, president of CEO of Port SA, Jim Pershbach, is joining us in today's Leading SA segment. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Y'all have some exciting stuff going on. We really do. Thanks so much for having us. It's a pleasure to be here. All right. So, Jim, I said it's been a year plus in the making, but really, this idea started four years ago. It sure did, Max. Four years ago, we stood up at a chamber lunch downtown, so we were going to build a center that would connect people up and show off the great things we're doing in San Antonio. And, you know, four years later, here we are, had the building going up. It was just a little over a year ago we started putting the walls up. So what does the new arena mean for the city of San Antonio? It means a couple things. The the first thing it does is it really gives us a platform to showcase what we do well in San Antonio by bringing people down and seeing all the activity that's going on on this campus. The second thing and a part we're really excited about, the whole model is that the concerts, the food and beverage, the bar we've got down there is going to fund the programming through the San Antonio Museum of Science and Technology through what we call the Kelly Heritage Foundation to honor the legacy of Kelly Air Force Base. So feel good coming down and buy a ticket for one of these shows because you are directly funding educational opportunities for kids all over our region. That is very cool. Let's talk about the arena for a bit. So it's $70 million. Uh, it's an intimate arena holding about 3,200 people. It's dubbed the most technologically advanced entertainment venue in the world. You know, drawing some of those big <laughs> names like the Smashing Pumpkins. I'm excited about Boys to Men. So what are exactly those tech advancements? Well, there, there are several. The, the thing we, we like to talk about are the musical Tesla coils on the side, shoot out sparks, you know, dozens of feet out and play music. But it's the capability to broadcast on virtually any stream that you want to have out there to bring in gaming tournaments. We're going to have the first Overwatch competition in two years here uh, next Friday to broadcast, to record, and do virtually anything that you would want to do in arena, we can do right there in-house. Oh, I'm glad you talked about the, the education and the legacy. So what does this mean in terms of teaching local students in and around San Antonio, technological opportunities down the line? We've had 60,000 plus kids come through the San Antonio Museum of Science and Technology just in the past four years. And that's been in a tiny little space. In July, when the new space is open with the robots and the flight simulators and a whole bunch of excitement, we hope to have 100,000, 150,000 kids coming through. And our goal is to have 1% of those kids get inspired enough that they want to pursue the types of programs that are offered through SAMSAT, whether that's cyber programs, rocketry programs, robotics, or computer programs. And if we do that, and we're creating a pathway for 1,500 young people a year to become entrepreneurship ready, to become job ready, to become college ready, then we think we're doing something really special for the community. All right, Jim. Uh, before we go, Smashing Pumpkins, are you guys officially sold out yet? I thought I saw maybe you guys had some tickets left online. I think the show is officially sold out. I think if you go online through the secondary market, you'll be able to find something. But that band is surprisingly popular. It's nice to see the 90s coming back. I, I'm very excited about it. Well, thank you so much for joining us. And for our viewers, you can watch this full interview later this morning on KSAT.com. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am.